Amarjit. I'm a technical trainer and I've been working with community radio sector for a very long time. Let's look at some of the tools we will typically find in a radio station. A plier, nose plier, cutters, tweezers, screwdriver set, a multimeter and a soldering iron. These are absolute essential tools. This is an RF power meter, this is an antenna tuner and this is a crimping tool. But these three are not absolute essentials but it's useful to have them around. This instrument here is a multimeter. We shall use it to measure AC voltage going over to 600 volt range and I'm going to plug the probes into the wall socket. Switch on. We get a reading of 208. Nominal voltage is supposed to be 230. Right now the supply voltage is a little bit low. We can also use this multimeter to measure DC voltage. Switching over to 20 volt range, plugging in a DC power supply, switch on and I shall plug the probes into this is a 16 volt power supply. It reads 16.18 voltage. On these ranges, the multimeter can be used to measure current and on these ranges the multimeter will measure resistance. The multimeter can also be used to check the continuity of a cable. You turn the selector to buzzer mode, connect the probes to each end of the wire and the buzzer comes on. Now if I cut the wire the buzzer stops indicating there's a break. A soldering iron basically is a copper tipped heater. It is used to melt solder to facilitate a good joint between components. All components that have to be soldered together should have absolutely clean shiny leads. If the leads are not clean they have to be scraped clean. The previously clean component has been inserted into this PCB. The basic requirement of soldering is that the soldering iron should be applied to one side of the lead and a little time given for it to heat up and solder applied on the other side. Then you are ensured that it's a good solder joint. Solder wire is basically an alloy of tin and lead. At its core is a material called rosin which acts as a flux, a cleaning agent. So it's vital that when you melt solder, if you notice smoke rising, the joint has to be completed before the smoke stops. It means the flux is doing its work. So quickly that's what has to be done before the smoking stops. A crimping tool is used to attach lugs, terminals, connectors onto cables. No soldering is required and no special skills are required. All you should be capable of is stripping a wire, twisting the strands, inserting it into a lug and crimp. There you go. SWR analyzer is used to tune antenna systems. This particular one is connected to a perfectly tuned antenna and as you can see transmission frequency is 90.4 SWR reading is 
Now I'm going to switch off the system and connect a very badly tuned antenna to it. As you can see, transmission frequency remains constant at 90.4, but SWR has shot up to 17.8, 17.6, which indicates there's something seriously wrong with the antenna.